Good evening and welcome back to Timberborn where at the end of the last episode I asked whether we should put sluices in here to allow more water to be stored up in there and nobody replied nobody replied and I'm very sad I'm very very sad I'm very sad hedgehog right now nobody replied I'm I'm almost hurt so instead I'm gonna to have to make a decision myself which is the worst part so we're gonna do it um, let's put a couple of sluices in here we can't put them right up against the edge because you're not allowed to put them up there um, and I think we'll remove that as well and what we'll do is we will uh, turn that off put that down to 1% and tick that there put that down to 1% like so put on so um these will now uh close if contamination is below 1% and the problem to that is that I'm a little concerned that it's going to cause I think it's going to cause a f it's going to flood I think this is going to flood because the good water comes out here and obviously pushes sideways first which will close them and then it will mix and it will mix and it will mix that so this might have to actually be something like 5% um, actually uh, we might we'll have to tweak this we'll have to tweak this to, to do it because because the good water comes in this side and will spread between the two so these will close first before these ones open we don't want any bad water in there we want this to be completely cleansed of good water before it goes this way um, so yeah but i don't want the bad water I, I don't want i want all the good water going in there and coming out the end so yeah we'll have to tweak that we'll have to tweak tweak them and see how it goes and see what it does so yeah okay so we'll do that they are still filling out this here which is fine i think our yep our water source has been put in and is going so that'll be fine this is going to run out in here in a minute so we'll see what happens there um farm wise this path which makes perfect sense um was i was like oh that's quite nice the path lines up beautifully with the edge of the uh the, the um the farming area well of course it would because that's where the water source is and then it comes out a set amount so yeah that makes perfect sense of course it does this however is not because this by looks of it i think this is not going to be centered between the two it's going to be off but there is no center because there's an even number between here so there's two lines centered like here this is technically two lines so if we got rid of this path we could part more kohl kohlrabi here technically uh, because the two of these should touch in the center there should be green areas as you can see this is all green so yeah um i also realized i didn't do the double woodcuts here but we don't need the double woodcuts there because we're, we're good for that so how about we put in uh a couple more storages i'm gonna have the storages just basically face this way every time um they um yeah they're gonna they're gonna face they're not, they're not gonna face left or right they're gonna face um i don't know which way north is because i can't figure out which way north is i can tell you which way north is hold on hold on um oh don't x uh, no x is the new build mode thing so you can you can up. so so whenever you're trying to figure things out it's been in the game for a little while and i keep forgetting it's there um whenever i'm trying to line things up be like oh is this correct is this correct you can hold x and it tells you <laughs> it literally tells you if you're if you're right or not so i'll be like is that one lined up with that one yes it is lined up with that one. Oh, okay it only goes for about 30 tiles but it's still enough you can still do that and be like yep they're lined up um i forget that's the thing they added um and i'm pretty sure they added that a while ago so uh, drought is approaching uh, typical. right okay so let's um flip these over here so we want to do one here one here one there i take them around one there one there one there so that's all the farms on the outside done uh, so we'll do one there and then under here and there and I am flipping them so their doors are on the outside area. So so their, their door is here, which means they get a bigger area to look to. If the door was there, they get one tile less because they can't walk past this. So, And that will be where our cassava goes, I think, which means this doesn't need to be running, really. But we've got to wait for this to be filled in. Let's say, so this is shut down now. So let's get rid of all of those farms in there. And get rid of that. 
Uh, this is mostly shut down now. Uh, some of it's still running. Um, I'll leave that. I'll leave it for a minute. Because so, this is supporting some over here and this is more sun. There's some dead in the center, so we'll leave it for a minute. Uh, our number cruncher is no longer running. We can get rid of that. Our um, things here are no longer needed. Get rid of those. Uh, means this is no longer needed and this is no longer needed but we do need to get over here so i'll leave that for the minute soybeans that's fine okay so we're gonna have cassava uh, sorry chlorabi cassava what's the next one uh soybean canola way too big for canola corn way too big for corn uh eggplant blueberries coffee and then the mangrove will be between these two. so let's see exactly where it'll be so there so that's where that's where one pool will be right there and the other pool will be there okay and uh we will have those um probably fill in an area around here with water we could get rid of half of these as well we don't need all of these here um, I, only, I only put them in there for wood storage because we were building this mega project up here but we don't need that many anymore so yeah in fact to be honest with that i'm gonna go into our buildings buildings i'm gonna go down to lumberjacks where are they lumberjack flags and we're gonna turn them all off Well, no lumberjacks running at all. We don't want lumberjacks running. We got far, well, we don't have far too much wood. You can never have too much wood, really. But I'd like to empty these out, if possible. Um, so, yeah. We want to, we want to, as we're building stuff and doing things and changing stuff up, I want to clear that out and just go down to the, the one storage in the centre, as well as these here. Um, and we could, if we really wanted to, expand these out. It makes me think I should have rotated these round. And each one should be facing a different direction in the corner. That would have made a lot more sense. But I did not. So we can move them if we need to later. It's fine. Yeah, and we can always stack these up higher. I don't think we need that much wood storage. I, I really don't. Not anymore. This was the project that was going to use so much wood. Um, yeah, granted, the uh, the aqueducts do use wood, but they're nowhere near as much as, as the other one. So, so yeah. Um, speaking of which, let's get some of the aqueduct things in place, shall we? So... So let's use the new tool. So that's lined up there, and that's lined up there. Click. And then, no, not there. There. And then, there. And I can't do any more down there, so we'll come back to here. Oop. It's a good tool. I like the tool. Um, I know it was there. I remember I remember when I first loaded the game up, I had a little bit of a play with it. Um, um, I was like, oh, that's quite a nice, a nice thing, the overlay. Um, so uh yeah um, that's uh that's that's this this uh the uh construction guideline so when you're building something it comes up that's that one that button up there so you can have it you can have it enabled all the time if you want it enabled all the time um or you can just hold x and it comes up by default so mm. okay um right do, 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 do. Shutting down all the uh, lumberjacks as well does mean that we'll get some beavers back in doing some building. So we were running low on beavers for building things because uh, we just didn't have enough going on there. Um, we've actually run out of dirt, which doesn't particularly surprise me. I didn't store a lot of dirt kind of on purpose. Because um, I didn't feel like we needed to. But that might have been a mistake. We also need to put mushrooms in over here, don't we? We need a hydroponic farm mushrooms um, as well. Uh, mushrooms and algae they can do so we need to put those in as well somewhere um, but we have space we have space so th this this is where the town's going to go this is where the crop's going to go so there's a gap here there's a gap here there's a gap here there's a gap here now this is where entertainment stuff's going to go around the outside for things um, to make our beavers happy and do, do the things they want to do um, um, I'd like to if possible Get to a thousand beavers and also get to 12 hour days. 
so the beavers don't have to work so much eight hour days would be great so they can actually have loads of time off and go and enjoy these things but i don't think you can get enough crops in in eight hours although with our bots moving things maybe we can because they just go to their workplace work leave the workplace job done so uh, you want to be called rabbi you want to be called rabbi you want to be uh not fermented cassava just raw cassava so that one uh, oh did not put one in the other side um you are cassava you are cassava and you are cassava interesting that doesn't show up and all these want to be set to supply so they're always pushing out of here into uh the other places where we'll have other storages so yeah so i haven't really left myself much space for food so there's trees going on over there obviously this is the uh industrial area um but i said food food like the um some, some of the things could be happily around the town some of the food production we could move this food production to be closer to the town like closer closer to the beavers which makes sense makes absolute perfect sense to have them closer to the beavers um yeah okay what are you doing up here have you built these you have built these awesome awesome let's prioritize that and that okay we're in a drought now so this isn't really doing its thing at all at the moment so that's fine okay we're going to detonate that one and put a new solution then we're going to detonate that one and put a new solution there we don't need to put it above the water sources because there is an invisible wall above the water sources um which uh, is and i believe it's 10 tiles high so um you could have these in a rivet and it would it would not flow back over for 10 tiles so yeah um but you can build over the top of um of them with uh with overhangs and stuff i believe yeah you can build over the top of them with overhangs but there is technically an invisible wall there that stops water pouring back for 10 tiles so um i think it's 10 tiles it, I'm, I'm, i think i think there, there is there is the, the, the you don't lose water over the top of water sources it doesn't fall off the edge of the map so um yeah okay okay you're doing this here you're doing this here so how we do we do have beavers all in here which is awesome so we're not worried about the beavers not um not working they are working in the haulers doing things uh our dynamite supply is beautiful our metal planks and scrap is doing really well um treated planks are doing fantastically well uh gears are good that is good normal planks are good that's the only thing that's struggling but that's fine it doesn't matter um and food is is okay we, we're good well i mean th this is enough to feed our entire populace right now um the biggest problem we've got is uh the beavers have to travel so far yeah they're traveling so far um it was mentioned in the comments previously as well um i could have sped up production of doing things by moving stuff around so like we're building stuff over here i should put a plank storage and uh, a wood storage here for what we're doing for these or a metal storage just temporary here somewhere and um then have the bots come and fill it so our builders only to come to here to grab it that that does work however i have absolutely observed that sometimes the builders just don't do that they don't go to the closest storage to um where the work is they go to the closest storage i think to them so they will still come and grab from here and walk down there and then when they're down here then they'll go back to forwards but i've not really paid close enough attention to it to know which way around it is so i should absolutely put some stuff down here because what, what are we building for the aqueducts we uh we need wood we need planks and we need metal right uh yeah so let's let's just do that let's just put in a couple of um uh, industrial warehouses like uh we'll just put them here Boom. and then we do set this one to be logs and obtain we set this one to be planks and obtain and we set this one to be metal planks and obtain and then they can go up and down these ladders and boom, we've now got a storage of stuff over here so they don't have to walk so far to build things so they're not having to come on up here come back in yeah 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 um boom. and then the bots will fill them up 
automatically for us. So, cool. Okay. I do like how at night time this looks completely black. It's like it's so deep. It's so deep. It also doesn't evaporate very quickly at all. We are pumping out of it, technically still. Um, like every day we're pumping out. We're keeping our things hopped up. And look at it. We're, um, I don't know how long this drought was, but, but it's, um, I think we're good. I think we're good. Uh, I will mention, however, so we currently have 18 hour days and you probably lose about a quarter of that to them moving, walking backwards and forwards, uh, delivering stuff, doing things, eating, blah, blah. So um, it's probably only about 12 hours that they actually are pumping for. Um, do that uh and so they make three an hour so let's let's have a quick look at so three times 12 uh they're doing 36 water a day being generous being being being, being yeah the 36 water a day um uh times 20 because we have 20 20 uh 4 8 12 16 20 24 times 24 uh so we're pumping 864 water a day um, divide that by three, we can support 288 beavers right now with those pumps. That is providing that everything moves and does its things, and that, that's all. And, that, and I said that's that's set with 18 hour workday, and that's only assuming they work for 12 hours of it. The rest of it is walking, then going to get food and do things, and yeah. So, um, yeah. Uh, also, when it comes to food storage, something I haven't thought about really, uh, I'm probably going to have food storage over here and over here like we'll double it up either side of the the places maybe down the sides instead because we're going to do um like a wonder here so maybe we'll have food here and food here so then it's even space between the industrial areas and this but we'll double the food up either side so that the beavers you know if we want something they don't have to come all the way over to this corner of the map to get it they can be like oh i'll get that there so you know like kohlrabi be here fermented cassavas be here and then we'll flip it around and we'll do kohlrabi here fermented cassavas here so there's you know It's our bots going doing their thing. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. And then our builders can come and grab stuff from there, which would be easier. Um, speaking of which, let's go and have a watch of a builder. Let's go and see what you're doing. Oh, you are. You're having a bit of a Z fight with someone else. Rah. Where are you taking that log? So there. Okay. So you're going to go home. Let's let's see. Let's see. So this is this is your home. Um, so let's see whether you go, uh, I don't know where the closest, that's closer to you. It also depends on what, um, uh, what you're going to build next. So let's see. Okay, so they're coming out to here. I'm just going to build that. That's fine, because that got delivered. It's a shame haulers can't deliver goods to building sites. It really is a shame, so... So you're going to get more dirt, are you? Yeah. Yeah, you're going to get more dirt. That's fine. That's fine. Dirt makes sense. Um I really I really would like the hunger and thirst bars to be in the center. So they can have more. I really would like that. It means that they, they die quicker without without water. Yeah, granted. But then they can have more like in reserve. So, yeah. Okay, where are you going to next? Are you going to go back to, uh, you're going to get a drink. I hope you're going to get a drink. Yes. Okay. Now where are we going? We're going to get more dirt, I guess. Yep. Yep, yeah, obviously because the dirt's the priority. Because that's the highest one there. So, not really tell what they're doing with the builders here. So, we're getting some... Bots come over here. I don't know what they're doing. What do you got? You're, you've got dirt on you. Oh, wait. Okay, cool. Right, so, uh, nothing to do in range? What? Uh, you're right, there is nothing to do in range. Um, you're absolutely right. I'm going to shut you down. We don't need you running just yet. Although, actually, uh, no, you can be running. You can be running. Let's uh, up our kohlrabi. Because we can do that now. But on. Let's get Cassava as well. And uh boom. and then let's unpause you three, actually. Away you go. Uh, I should really set priorities as well, uh, because you might come over here too as well. So yeah, we should really set um so you are gonna be Kohlrabi. Can I do that for the tap? No, I can't do it with the tap menu. It's a shame. 
That's Corabi. Corabi. There's also no copy paste. So, Corabi. 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 And Corabi. And then you guys are going to be Cassava. And you're all set to plant over the top of Harvest. So, you would always try and. Uh, fill in first so the, it grows the most it can do we could have them alternate between planting and harvesting and doing what else and that but honestly planting is the best way to do it because it takes them way less time to plant it does the harvest and whilst they're spending all that time trying to harvest something the castle could be growing or the crop whatever the crop is could be growing so it just makes more sense to uh to do that so there we go okay so you're now all set to cassava correct Yes. Okay, and then you'll set the call rabbi. So once they're done with call rabbi, they will go and help. So like the farmers here, if they've got no call rabbi to do, they will go and help plant elsewhere. Um, the priority system is I, I, I personally believe the priority system is incorrect. Um, it's not incorrect. It's the way they've done it. I get the way they've done it, but I, I, I think it's wrong. I think the way it works is wrong. It's the way I should work that. So, so this is the first priority so it's whether they plant or harvest and then the resource is the second priority so they will go is there anything to plant and they'll go oh yes there is space over here to plant so they will come down and plant even though they're set to call rabbi and there's call rabbi to harvest i think they should flip these so i think it should go right let me check call rabbi is there anything to plant call rabbi or any to harvest call rabbi i will do that first then once they've done that priority i will go on to planting or harvesting anything else that's available because if you set this to plant, like if I set this to harvest and there's um, a cassava to harvest but call rabbi to plant, they'll harvest the cassava before planting the call rabbi, which is not the way I think it should be. I feel like this should be the first priority. They should check what crop they are first and then check, do I need to plant or harvest? And then go, well, if I don't, is there anything else to plant or harvest? But that's, 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 that's me. That's me. That's a, that's a, I, I believe that's the way that's the way it should be but it's not the way they've done it so but that's okay that's okay and that's how we have to deal with it just be aware of that if you're if you're doing things and you're trying to figure out why your farmers aren't harvesting your crop because if there is stuff to plant elsewhere they will prioritize planting a new crop before harvesting whatever crop they're supposed to harvest so yeah, and you can't just tell them to only harvest kohlrabi as well. That would be nice. That would be nice to have a tick box here to say only, you know, um, kohlrabi and then tick only. So they only deal with kohlrabi. They don't go and deal with other crops. That would be nice to have them dedicated. Again, stuff I'm wishing for that, you know, isn't in the game. and But it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Um, right. Um, to, so this is working. This is fine. This is doing things here. We need to balance some stuff up here. And do things here uh, let me prioritize this so we can actually get to this and do that i don't need to build a bridge across here this is fine i can go around can you prioritize building these two please can you come up here and do this um the land's almost full in here the biggest problem with that is just we don't have enough crops coming in that's that's the problem we just don't have enough enough coming in so uh yeah i need to fill all this in all this in here and blow up all this up here so um Got a little while a little while to do this yet uh i want to let this all fill in first so i can divert the path around before i break this and fill this one in and then the same for this as well um i will divert the path around this so we don't have to worry about uh the beavers having to walk all the way around everything um not that this path even should be here the path should be here i'm entirely honest with you the path should be here Doop and doop up there like that that's where the actual path should be so how about we do that now let's go hey would you stop planting in that row there um would you uh remove that and would you please put in um a row just just a row there and make this a higher priority as well so we can run a path up the center of the uh the the, the area so yeah and then that is our central path. Although uh, it doesn't actually want to be um, a path. Now think about it. No, it doesn't. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, 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 stop. Um, yeah, it doesn't want to be a path. No. It wants to be um, a platform. 
here because it wants to have power running underneath it. To be power coming to the center. So this is the center of the uh, the block. Um, so we want to have power running to at least here, so we can put the thing. We want power probably running to the upside as well, just in case. So, so yeah. So um, so we need to technically blow up um, all of that um, at least down to there, and we want to blow up all of this here. Yeah, but I don't want to destroy everything here just yet. So, okay, okay. So we'll get that doing that there. We'll put that in there. We'll run the, the power cable underneath of it in the center. I don't know how I'm going to run the power cable up for the tribute of ingenuity, uh, but we have vertical power lines, so we can just stick it out the side and it can pop up and plug into the bottom of it. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. So I think we're going to leave this on here and we will come back next time and we will continue from there. Um, we need to build loads of stuff. I need to leave the game running again for a while, don't I? Don't I? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed this one. I do hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun. Get rid of all our casper. We don't need that anymore either.